Take it easy, yo. Morning, buddy. Morning, everybody. It's Sunday. Britt and I have the day off together, so we're gonna spend it right here. Drinking coffee and doing, well, I was gonna say we're doing nothing, but Britt started on uh, this masterpiece. I'll let her explain it to you in a bit. It's her own recipe. Honey garlic pulled beef sandwiches. You hear that? Honey garlic pulled beef sandwiches. I'll let. It's like pulled pork, honey garlic. Quite the congregation in the audience here. I'm a star. What kind of magic are you performing? Shredding the beef. Mm. It smells so good. So, so what is it exactly? What you doing here? One second, they're all foggy. <laughs> so what you doing here? Just pulling the beef. Pulling the beef? It's pulled beef. Pulled beef with what? Honey garlic. Honey garlic? It's your own recipe. Mm-hmm. Honey garlic sauce. Is that it? It's honey garlic sauce? Yeah, we'll slap it on some some buns and have honey garlic pulled beef sandwiches. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I think it's going to be good, judging by the smell. If it's not good, I'll just freeze it and throw it in a stir fry in a couple weeks. <laughs> Is it ready to eat now? Well, technically, yes, but I thought maybe we could let the sauce soak into the meat a little bit more. Mm, this is what we're having for supper? Yep. Well, it's what I'm having for supper. You can watch me. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Chevy. Chevy, she's being mean to me again. Mom. Don't look at me like that. I'm Be nice. Kidding. Chevy's my defender. Whenever Britt pinch, pinches me. Actually, we don't know if he's coming to defend me or her. Every time. He just doesn't like violence. Every time, yeah. One of us goes, ow, or something. He comes running into the room to separate us. <laughs> you the peacekeeper. No fighting in the house. You guys think you're going to get something over there, eh? You guys got lots ready. <gasps> Did you? Got fruit and yogurt. So I've, I've heard in my comment section this being referred to as porridge. Out here we call this oatmeal. Is that the same thing? You know what? I'm gonna treat myself. Timmy's! I rarely get Timmy's in the morning now, okay? So it's Monday. It's a very special day because it's Monday. And it's uh, a beautiful minus 27 degrees outside, Celsius. So it's cold. I'm gonna get myself a nice Timmy, warm myself up on the way to work, all right? Some of you have been asking, what's, what's Timmy's? You must be new here. Welcome, welcome. Everyone is welcome here. Timmy's is short for Tim Hortons. In Canada, it is a patriotic duty for us to enjoy a good cup of Tim Hortons coffee as often as we are able to. That's not really true. A lot of people in Canada actually don't like Tim's. Their coffee is kind of meh, but they do something to it that makes us keep coming back again and again and again. I don't know if it's, if, if it's something that they're putting in there or if it's like our sense of duty as Canadians. The coffee is not the great. I mean, I mean, it's good. It's good. It's not bad. But every Canadian knows what Timmy's is, okay? This is called a Timmy run. Could I get a uh, large coffee with one cream and a shot of espresso in it, please? Yes, sir. Uh, could I also get a hash brown, please? Oh, uh, let me just... Uh, hash browns are a two-minute wait. Did you want to wait? No, thank you. That's all right. Uh, could I just get a honey cruller donut then, please? Okay, perfect. Anything else for you today? That's it. Ready for the window. Thank you. Dang! 
Dang it, I got myself a donut for breakfast. What's wrong with me? I was not planning on that. That was last minute in the moment. I was not planning on getting that. I already had breakfast at home. But don't worry, this donut is gonna make me strong. I feel like I have like Mickey Mouse hands right now. These gloves are like huge. These are my these are my fancy gloves. My second fancy gloves. I got new gloves for Christmas from Brett. Those are my fancy gloves. These are my kind of fancy gloves. They're kind of fancy. These are the ones I don't wear at work. I got my work gloves in the back. This I just wear in the truck when the truck is still kind of cold. I don't have a heated steering wheel because I'm not Bill Gates. But anyways, enough chit-chatting with you this morning. Let's get to the truck. Let's start her up and uh, well, well, let's see if she starts up first and then let's get something done today. Let's be productive. We have arrived. There's quite a bit of snow on the ground, but it's a very light, fluffy snow. How are you doing today, old Pete? You feel like starting up? What does the temperature outside say right now? According to the Chevy, still minus 27. It was minus 30 on my way here, but that might have been because the air was moving. I don't know where the sensor is for the thermostat. It usually stays pretty constant whether or not you're sitting still or moving. All right. All right. I'm going to go and pick up the uh, pickup. I'm going to go and open up the hood. I'm not going to pick it up, but I'm going to open up the hood check everything underneath there check the oil and all the other fun stuff and then we're gonna see if this bad girl wants to turn over i have her plugged in right yeah she's plugged in so i guess we'll uh we'll see how happy she is to get back to work monday morning all right okay closed up the hood again the oil's all good everything else is all good under there let's just button that up there you go let's climb on in now I'm gonna climb all the way in because every time I don't climb all the way in, people get upset. All right, you ready? I've already cycled her through. Let's go. Nice. Wipe all this off while we're back here. There you go. She's awake. First one, too. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm, maybe? We'll see. All right. Woo! Yep. Yep. She's a chilly one. I'm gonna drag myself up to the front and uh, see what we got on the agenda for today. Hopefully I don't get stuck. Okay, that's not good. Okay. We may or may not be stuck. Oh boy. I think I'm stuck. I might be able to wiggle myself out of here yet. I got my... Okay, lock up the diffs. There we go. Oh yeah. Ha ha. Peterbilt power. What do you think? I'm gonna get stuck in the morning in this thing? Ha! Ah, sorry to disappoint you. There we go. That's why in Canada you always want to have diff locks. I have my inner axle lock on now, which is a little different than the diff lock. The inner axle lock. What that does is it put power. It puts power to both drive axles behind me there. Uh, but not all tires are locked together. Okay, they can, it only puts power through to sort of one side of each. But if I lock up the diffs, I can only do that pretty much when I'm driving in a straight line and driving slowly, because that actually locks the rear diff. And both tires spin at the same time, so when you turn, it would be really hard on the on the diff if you do that so that's how you get out of those situations and in Canada you always want to have that option on your truck if you're buying a new truck the inner axle is a little different like I said it just puts power through to both axles instead of just one but when I turn that off like this now there's a uh, power going through to just one axle in the back anyways I've checked in today already they know I'm here they know I'm uh, ready to go see what they got for us I see all of our uh, 
winter trucks getting ready to go up on the winter roads today. I guess the uh, roads up north were opened up, all the ice roads. And we have, uh, I saw probably at least five or six trucks, it looks like, that are uh, headed up on the ice roads today. Oh, okay, so this is my load. I'm not going up on the ice roads. I am delivering this and I'm gonna have to chain it down. It's just going around the corner, really. But uh, whoever delivered it here left uh, no chains on it for me and that's, that's pretty normal. That's not a bad thing. We all use our own equipment. Uh, it's kind of nice when it's left tied down sometimes, but then you always got to return that equipment to the driver. And judging by the amount of snow on this deck here, it's all just powder. Super, super light, fluffy snow. Okay, well, I'm gonna pull it out into the open anyways, get her all hooked up and uh, tie her down. Bring her where she needs to be. Nice little Kubota. I wouldn't mind using this thing. I could use that. Got her all tied down or chained down behind me. And we're just a mile down the road. We're gonna head a little bit east, a couple of miles, and we'll deliver it there. It's only about a five mile trip, 10 mile round trip. Maybe not even quite. One of the shorter trips that I do. There's a farmer down here that bought this Kubota. And I'm gonna make his day and bring him his new toy. You know, it's minus 27 out today, but it really doesn't feel like it. It feels quite warm. I don't know if our bodies are just have just gotten used to it or what, but it doesn't feel like minus 27 today, but I'm not complaining. Truck's running well, that's all we need. My body's working well, so far. Everything seems to be in order. Empty. Loaded. With stuff. Oh, this one's much heavier than the last one. Ooh, a little slippery here. So we're bringing this around to the north end of Winnipeg. At least we got a lot of weight on us. I mean, we'll have the best traction possible. Still gotta be careful, especially on the ice like this. Usually they come around here and salt it around midday. It's kind of a rural area, so it sort of gets done whenever it gets done. But this is a lot of truck traffic on this road, so it usually doesn't take too long. I got this left lane as long as they both stay in that lane I don't really always trust them to stay in that lane sometimes everyone's in the right lane so you turn on to the left lane and then they decide they want the left lane and almost hit you there we go Exhaust is coming down just over that lane there. There we go, there's a break in it. A couple more cars yet. Yeah, this truck is definitely 
probably noticing, hey, what'd you, what'd you do? That last load was a lot nicer, a lot lighter. <laughs> Come on. This is really heavy, yikes. Gotta pay more attention to my shifting. Use a few more gears. We got about 45,000 pounds or whatever that stuff is in the trailer. So all together, we're probably sitting at about 80,000 pounds because this load came from the US. So it won't be over 80,000 pounds. That would be illegal on their roads. Still only 85 kilometers an hour. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Keep pulling, keep pulling. We're getting there. It'll take us about a mile and a half, two miles to get up to highway speed. Whew. We're gonna have to make sure that we leave ourselves that same amount of space to stop. this all like a van trailer just back it into the dock and boom 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 off the back didn't even have to roll forward the trailer though this is one of our better trailers it should have rolled easily but ah, it's always better when it goes easier than you thought it would now the only thing is I have to clean up the straps because even though it sort of acts like a van trailer it's not a van trailer it's still a flatbed all the freight in there has to be tied down with four inch straps or whatever is required to tie it down and secure it as if it was an open deck so all of those straps are in there right now and I gotta go clean them all up. I'll give you I'll give you a look. Come with me, my friends. Come with me. Down the steps. Don't slip and fall. I already did that today. Yeah, my butt hurts. Careful. Careful, watch your step. She's icy out here. I'm gonna show you in the back. See I set down the rear axle so that it lifts up the tail end just a little bit more. Roll up the back just like this and unload it in the dock the only thing is now i got these straps in here right so we just got them out of the way so we could unload now i've got to roll them all up clean them up and uh put them in these compartments on the side because these roll tight trailers uh the equipment stays with the trailer i'm gonna put them all in this box right here so i'm gonna take care of that you sit there keep warm in your chair i'll talk to you in a bit and we'll drag this trailer back empty it's quarter after two right now. Probably get back in about an hour, so quarter after three. We'll see what they got for us. Might have another quick one to do this afternoon. Maybe they'll send me on an overnight. I don't know. The options are limitless. Almost. Within the confines of the law and regulations. Of course, of course, of course, yes. Which way do I wanna go? I kind of want to go that way, but I'm already on this side of the road. I'm going to go that way. Yeah, I'm going to go that way. I'm going to make it. I can make it. There's traffic lights this way. I don't want to deal with traffic. I can still drag myself around. See? No problem. See, up here there's traffic lights at Inkster. And then I can get back onto Route 90 and go back to the north perimeter and not have to worry about crossing over without traffic lights. It's always a little bit sketchy. See, I made the left turn onto Inkster here, and now I can make another left turn northbound onto Route 90 if you're familiar with Winnipeg. If you're not familiar, well, watch my vlogs long enough, you'll be familiar with Winnipeg. It's probably about the only time you're ever gonna hear of Winnipeg in your life watching my vlogs. Nice traffic light will make it easy to get onto the road. Otherwise, I'd have to cross over there. And uh, eh, I didn't want to do that. Why do that when you can just come down here, right? Make, make life easier. Work smarter, not harder. Whoopsie. What happened here? Let's go by nice and slow and... 
Or are you in the ditch? Oh, it's a snow plow. The snow plow got stuck. Doesn't look like he got, oh, he probably got just stuck right in there. Just barely. I don't know what happened. There's the excitement for today, folks. Could really use some salt on these roads. Sand, salt, anything. This is just a skating rink. We could seriously play hockey on this. They're probably gonna salt it soon. Like, they don't leave it like this very long. But they scrape it as far down as they can, and then it just leaves it like a sheet of ice until they salt it, right? And they don't always salt it at the same time that they scrape it. I'm gonna have to take this wide because I'm turning in right here. Watch out behind me, buddy. Don't you dare. Don't you guys, I know you want to sneak in there. Don't do it. I've got to move extra slow because we're on the ice. Okay, patience. Patience, thank you very much. That was a very patient driver behind me. I appreciate that. I really appreciate the patient drivers. I know I'm big and I know I'm in your way and I know I'm moving really slow. So I always appreciate when people just have a little bit of patience with me. All right. So I'm supposed to drop, I have a van trailer behind me, by the way. It's my third assignment of the day. I believe it'll be the final one. It's already four o'clock, so I'm guessing that'd be my final one. I'm gonna drop it in our door here and uh, bobtail back and head home. Real quick now, we have our uh, assignment for tomorrow. I gotta deliver whatever's on trailer 122D first thing in the morning. So I found it right here, that's 122D. Let's go take a look at what we gotta deal with in the morning. See if I need to psych myself up a little bit extra in the morning or not. Well, we'll see. It doesn't look like much. 122D. That's the one. You and me are going to be friends. Tomorrow, not tonight. We're not friends yet. Tomorrow. Oh. Well, that's it, eh? That's the whole thing? That's it? What is this? Is that metal or rubber? Metal. Okay. I think it's metal. Well, we can shovel this snow off in the morning. Looks like there used to be a truck on here. Look at this, there's tire tracks. Huh. So we're not delivering the truck, I guess. We're just delivering that. Okay, well. I guess we just gotta psych ourselves up the usual amount. Nothing, nothing too crazy. But it is gonna be a busy day tomorrow. Uh, we gotta deliver this, and then I gotta bring this trailer off to another spot in the city, drop it there. They're gonna load it up with freight going up on the winter roads, on the ice roads. And then once I drop that trailer there for them, I have two other trailers I have to pick up with some kind of equipment on it, bring them both back here. And then after that, we take another trailer into the city and load up more freight for the winter roads. Uh, the winter roads are only open for a limited amount of time in the winter time, obviously, because once things melt, you can't go on the ice anymore. So during this season, it gets very, very, very busy on the winter roads. So it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. So uh, we'll, we'll give ourselves a little bit of extra extra oomph in the morning have an extra cup of coffee or something turn the music up on the way to work we're gonna have a lot to do tomorrow it's gonna be busy but we're gonna get her done oh well, let's start the pickup up how about that from here i can tell and make sure that it's running there you go look at me all fancy command start come on there we go oh look at that oh it's got a little bit of smoke coming out the pipe uh oh I'm just gonna act like that's supposed to do that, okay. It's cold, I know that. And I don't think my block heater's working. I don't think it's working, I'm gonna have to get it looked at. Anyways though, command start, I'm a fancy Canuck. Think I'm gonna go outside in the morning and start my pickup truck? What are you, crazy? I don't got kids yet. I gotta start my own truck, so huh? Remote start for me. I'm just gonna do my end of day here and uh, if I don't talk to you again today, then we'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go home now. I got my whole evening planned out. We're gonna do nothing.
No, we did too much of nothing this weekend already. Can't do nothing today. So I'm going to go home, probably get on the treadmill, do another hour, walk another three to four miles, uh, get that done, obviously shower, do some editing. And if we have some time, I'm going to do some farming. I am a farmer on Farm Simulator 22. If, you, uh, if you're wondering, I'm uh, quite the big deal. Trucker Josh is now Farmer Josh too in the virtual world. <laughs> I have another channel called TJV Gaming. I want to start posting on there. I need a more powerful computer. I'm, I'm looking at one, but it's like... The one I want is like $5,000 in Canadian. Okay, so it's probably like 4000 or something American. It's top of the top line. Like, there's top of the line, and then there's the top of that yet. And then just above that, that's the computer I want. Top of the best. The best of the bestest. I want it to be a desktop. I want a whole gaming setup, but uh, that's obviously not going to happen this year because we have IVF coming up. That's a $16,500 procedure, but we're good. We're good. We got that all handled. It's taken care of. Uh, didn't even have to go into debt for it. We saved up the money for it. And then after that, we got some other debt to pay off yet. So it's not like I can buy this computer anytime soon, but I'm allowed to dream. Okay. You can't stop me from dreaming. So far, they haven't made dreaming illegal yet. So... I have this thing, though. I like to chase after my dreams. Some people just leave them in dreamland, and that's boring. Why would you leave them there? I like to bring them to reality. Reach into dreamland and bring them over here. It's pretty hard sometimes, but if you work hard enough, we live in a country where if you work hard enough, you can bring it into reality and into this dimension. If you just work hard enough, right? And we're just going to keep telling ourselves that. I'm going to keep working hard, and one day we'll have everything we want. Or we'll have everything we need and that'll be that'll be good. Right? That'll be good. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I'm gonna stop talking. I wanna go home.